Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are back with another coding stuff. And we are going to look at the global and local alignments using BioPython package of Python. So if you do not know how to install BioPython onto your system, you can refer to a video that I made earlier. And that is going to be linked in the description and also it will be appearing somewhere over here in the cards right now. So you can check that out and install BioPython package onto your system so that you can use the beautiful things that are inside BioPython, one of which is the alignment module. So first things first, you need to make a file and I've made a file called alignments.py. .py is the extension for Python. And once you do that, you can make, you can give it any name, but the .py is important. Now, once you do that, you need to import a module called align from the BioPython package. So from bio, I need to spell it exactly like this. So the B should be in caps. I'm going to import the align module. So this align module contains all the different methods and functions that we need for the global and local alignment. Next thing, we are going to create an object from the align module, which is called pairwise, pairwise aligner. And inside the pairwise aligner, we are going to set a match score match underscore score of 1.0 or 1.0 so when we are looking at the alignments of two different sequence since we're going to do a pairwise alignment so we'll use two different sequences and whenever there is a match a perfect match it is going to give a score of one and it is going to increment that with the next time it finds another match so if it has two matches it's going to be one plus one two and so on so this object we're going to put it inside a variable called aligner not align mark it's aligner and you can give it any name you want so that's this so the whole uh, pairwise aligner this uh, method um, we don't have to call this whole line again and again. We just have to call a liner and it's going to give us all this different stuff that is inside it. Now, let's give in two sequences. Sequel one would be a string of sequence. Um, let's give in, let's say, G A A C T. And since you're giving a string, remember you need to give it inside double quotes, otherwise, it does not. Uh, it does not consider it as a string and we're using DNA sequences so you need to give uh, A's or T's or G's or C's I mean combination of these and we're going to give another sequence seq2 which is going to be short sequence GAT and finally we are going to look at the score of these two sequence so I'm going to, I'm going to call in my, um, I'm going to call in my aligner, which I made up there and put, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give the score method on that aligner and inside this, I'm going to pass in my seek one and seek two. So that's that. And let's put this into a variable called score. Finally, let's print this out. So we're going to use, use an F string. And inside this, we're going to say the score of the alignment is curly braces. And we're going to pass in the score variable that we made. So if you do not know about f strings, f strings are formatted strings. So um, you can give give in a stretch of uh, characters or string characters, and then inside 
um, curly braces, you, you can put in any value or any variable containing a value that you need. And that's going to pull in that value from the variable and put it over here. But the main thing you need to write F just after starting the bracket of the print and before the first inverted comma. And if everything goes fine, this is going to give us this is going to give us proper result. And let's hit run. And you can see the score of the alignment is 3.0. So that's there. Now, we got the score of the alignment, but to look into the alignment, which segment matches which segment of the second sequence, we need to do, uh, we need to go a little bit further. So, for this, we are going to create, um, we're going to create a, we're going to create a variable, and inside this, we're going to say aligner dot align. So first we needed the score that we use the dot score method. Now dot align method inside which we're going to pass in the seek one and seek two. Next, to check uh, the sequences repeatedly, we're going to give a for loop and we're going to create a variable in the scope of the for loop. Uh, let's let's call it let's call it alignment in alignment and let's print out the alignment so um this alignment is a variable which is present uh, which is which has the scope only inside the for loop and once the for loop ends the this variable also ends that is why we call it it is having a local scope but uh, compared to that this alignment it is having global scope right now and once you once you call this alignment inside the print statement it will go up to this uh, I, mean, I mean it will go up to each of the characters inside sequence 1 and 2 and it is going to check for the alignment which is going to be printed we're going to print that out let's clear the console and hit run and there you have it now since this is default by global alignment so it gives you all the possibilities of the optimal alignments globally that is throughout this throughout the two sequences and that that is why you have two different alignments you have g and a over here t at the end and you have g a in the middle and the t at the end so this is this is uh, going through the whole sequence and it is aligning throughout the sequence so we have a global alignment now let's say we do not want want the alignment to be in the whole length of sequence one and two we just want it to be uh, locally so we need a local alignment for that it's very easy um, what you can do you can uh, just you can just put the aligner mode you can set it to local instead of global you can set that and that uh, makes it to the global uh, from the global to the local alignment so this whole thing now aligns locally not globally and I'm going to put in some different sequences, seek 3, and I'm going to say A, G, A, A, C, T, C. And do not forget to put this inside double quote since it's a string. And I'm going to give seek 4. And just for this video, just for the simplicity's sake, since we want the local alignment, let's pass in these 4 uh, or these 5 uh, string characters so that it matches perfectly when we look into the result so G A A C and T so once this once this match is done it should give us a score of 5 because 5 are exactly matching with the above one and uh, we can find the local alignment just like this
it's going to give us this straight lines in between the two sequences and the gaps in between if we have any. So we have the two sequences. Now again, uh, the same thing. We're going to check the score and then we're going to align it. So we'll say score local. We're going to create a variable like this and aligner dot uh, aligner dot score and we're going to pass in seek three and seek four finally we will print the whole thing as an f string the local alignment score score is get the curly braces inside this say score local and let's clear out the console hit run now one thing if you do not see the console over here you can go up to view and you can hit terminal this is going to open up this terminal console so you can see the local alignment score is 5 as we had predicted because 5 of them are matching and finally we need to check the alignment like this so the same thing we're going to do is we're going to say align is equal to we haven't used the align variable before right Okay, a lot of align alignments and stuff okay so align equal to aligner dot align All right and inside this we're going to pass in seek three and seek four let's call this align local just to be safe Next, we're going to run a for loop for let's call it x in align local. Give a colon, creates the f block, and we say print x. Right, so everything is done for x in align local. Print x, let's clear the console, hit run and there you have it you have this five characters which are aligned perfectly which is giving us a score of five and you have the previous one as well so that's it that's how you can do pairwise alignment in biopython using the align module and using the various different functions and uh, the methods that you can use and this match score um, there are a lot of arguments, there are a lot of uh, parameters uh, apart from this match score and you can look into that inside the BioPython documentation. Uh, you have the penalty score, you have the gap score and all that stuff. Um, so that's about it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.